Hey Sabre fans, it's Aaron of Andobe Sabre Services here. I have a ASP Sabre reveal for you today. The Sabre Forge ASP parts, obviously. And I asked, I made a post on this and the uh, Custom Lightsaber Owners Group just to see what responses I would get. And they were pretty on point. So. I used a Shamim chassis with a Profi board, Profi board, 10 amp high drain battery, recharge port, Zebra essential speaker. And now for a taste of things to come. It just seems so appropriate to have that on there. This is set up for NeoPixel. As you can tell, the activation switch. LED is wired to the uh, power on indicator. I have an auxiliary switch here. Lord Vader. Like vengeance. Vengeance goes so well with this saber. So I'm going to put in the full blade. I have a full blade here, and as I would like to call it, a baby blade. So this thing has a crazy amount of blade depth to it about three inches. Because, I mean, you can see. That's the LED retention screw there. So you got all this meat here and blade retention. Vengeance goes so well with this saber. It just, it, yeah, that pulsing. the baby blade this feels really good with a thin wall blade this is a 34 inch blade and it just it feels really good very well balanced point of balance is right at the emitter a little lower I think it's those kind of a machine claws kind of give it a good Luke Skywalker As you can tell, this thing is long. Probably a good foot to 14 inches. Kylo Ren. As you can see, the auxiliary switch is very responsive. I used, of course, the uh, blank switch holders that Saber Forge sends. Have quite a few of those left, so I'm just using them as need be. And I just put a Vader's assassin tactile switch in there with some E6000 on the backside. I find that I have better luck with E6000 than epoxy for that, and it's just as strong. So I'm just going to start at the beginning and work my way through all of the blade effects. So this is the first one that you will see whenever you unplug it and you hear Shang Tsung say now for a taste of things to come. So, cyan, slight flicker, white base flare. Lord Vader. Vader. This is one of my favorite fonts by far. Very loud, very crisp. Light. It's blue with a slightly more noticeable flicker. Benji. Pulsing red. Luke Skywalker. Green with a slight flicker. Kylo Ren. Very organic, unstable. I love that attraction. Just stop, go. It's so cool. 
And the Star Killer font, of course. Wanted the purple on that. Kylo Ren. And the, the trailing flame blade, which is epic. And we got Rain Sizzle. And Super Rainbow. Light. Tron Blade. A lot of flickering going on in there. Almost a strobe effect. I believe that was made by Meg Tooth. Well, partially made by Meg Tooth. I modified it. And we got the Cylon, which is cute stuff. Vengeance. Lightning Blade made by Meg Tooth. Super epic. Project. And just flat red. Amber flash. So this is all Cyber Project by Alex Redman. There it goes, prototype two. These Cyber Project fonts are super cool. I really like this one. Wait for it. Uh, there's an Easter egg in this somewhere. Vader's assassin. And battery level indicator. You can see it's uh, still got a pretty solid charge on it. Come back to this. So that is all the blade styles. Like I, I cannot overstate how much blade depth is on this sucker. It is just absolutely ridiculous. This. Uh, a few of the names I heard on <laughs> the Facebook group were just, I think my favorite was Mr. Twinks. <laughs> that was hilarious. You can tell it's a very tight fit. It's it's in there really well. I mean, it, it doesn't slide out easily, but a good jerk comes out no problem. But this will definitely be going up for sale in the very near future. Been trying to get as many profies, teensies out to people as possible in solid builds just to get them into the hands of people so that they can see what they're missing. And it's amazing. Um, you know, this this is a good saber. I mean, you could, you could beat the fire out of this motherfucker. I mean, just saying. Parental advisory on the cussing, right? But yeah, you can see if I can even get a shot of it down in there it's way down in there I mean talking at least that far down I put the set screw on it yeah that's a that's a serious amount of blade depth so I mean if you get a heavy grade neopixel blade which I can make those as well you got yourself a good dueling saber granted that's the only parts you want to watch out for is those edges because, I mean, that, that they're not overly sharp, but you could still cut yourself on them or scratch yourself, really. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, Saber fans, may the Force be with you always.